What's up? I'm Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create that effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and today I will be showing you how to play video through your text or through any object that has like white and black so the whites will show and the blacks won't or if you just don't have a background um, everything that's uh, visible will show your video through it so let's see how that is done it's actually called alpha matte or luma matte uh, it depends whatever effect you're trying to achieve but without further ado let's get started so I'll create a new timeline here in Premiere Pro and click OK then I will drag in my video so I'll just copy this video right here just uh, go I'll just copy this and paste it in my new timeline and zoom in. I'm zooming in with Alt and scroll. All right, so here I have my video and I will make it a little bit longer on this side here. And now what I wanna do is actually create a new text. So I'm, I will go here and click on this icon, go to new title and rename this to whatever you want. So I'm just going to keep it as title 02, click OK and then I will click on my text tool click over here write whatever you want so subscribe for more if you want to you can do that but okay so we'll just reposition this using the center align right here so that's going to center out my text and uh, maybe make it a little bit smaller um, but before I will do that I will just just pick a font um, maybe something like Bellaboo uh, whatever just trying to pick something really quickly here and make it a little bit bigger so trying to cover as much area of my screen it's always nice to have as much information so uh, that it's still readable with your video playing through it so it's really difficult to do this with text but if you have a logo uh, it's easier to do it that way because yeah nobody needs to read anything in your logo in this case we're doing it with a text but it's not advised depending on the font that you're using of course okay so once you have picked a font I will just click and center my text like so and I will close this title so the first thing that we'll do is uh, I will offset my video and right here we have our title what I want to do then is show my video with my title but in an in inverted color so I'm going to uh, make it a little bit longer like so press C on the keyboard click over here to cut it so now we have a cut in this title go to effect and I will pick a video effects channel invert and that's going to change the color to black so as you can see right here uh, so now we have this kind of effect and then a little bit farther away I want to cut my text again make it a little bit longer like so and also cut my video this and uh, this time so I will cut my video right here and maybe cut it right here as well so now we have this part portion of our video so we have a video with a title above it and that's what we need I'm just going to delete the invert uh, like so and then I will click on my video layer right here and I will go into our keying and I will pick the track matte key and I will drag this onto my video layer like so and if we scroll down in our effects controls you'll see that right here we'll have this effect track matte key and the matte is currently set to none so what we want to do here with the matte is actually change this to video 3 and as you can see uh, well actually video 2 I suppose video 2 and there we go so um, you actually have to see at which layer your text is positioned. So currently it's at video two. So we're picking video two to be the matte of our video right here. And then right here you can use composite using matte alpha or matte luma. So this is what I already told in the beginning of this video. The matte alpha is everything that is not well. So the matte alpha is used for PNG images or like the text layer right here. Everything that doesn't have a background. So everything that's actually visible will be shown and everything that's transparent with the background isn't going to be shown no matter what color. That's how this works. And the matte luma works depending on the color. So if you have white colors, it's going to be shown. Black colors aren't going to be shown. If you have like gray colors, Course, it's going to show it for yeah just that portion of gray that you actually have in your image so uh, it's like going to be 50% opacity instead of 100 or 0 so uh, this is how the matte luma works but now because we are working with a title that's 
white and it has a transparent background, both of these composites will be working fine. So let's say that we will go to our title and let's uh, add this effect, the channel invert to our title. You're going to see that you're not going to see it as good anymore. So that's uh, why the Luma is picked. And if you would just go back and instead of using the uh, Luma here, we can change it back to alpha. It's going to show it again because it doesn't matter which color you are using. All right, so that's how to create this effect. It's really easy to create. You can do some really cool stuff with it. It depends on the project that you're doing, but I've seen a lot of cool users using this technique. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. So see you in the next one and goodbye.